What's going on guys? It's Daniel and today I'm going to be recording my first video on the laptop. This video is going to be my top 10 current and favorite drivers in the NASCAR Cup Series. We're going to go from 10 to 1 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay entertained. Anyhow, so my number 10 driver is Matt DiBenedetto. Now Matt DiBenedetto I've always respected as a driver even back in 2009. And I've always think the thought he's a really good driver, and he drives in really great in the best equipment. So I hope wishing the best luck at Levine this year, and hope he does really well. The second guy, which is my number nine guy, currently is Bubba Wallace. Had Bubba done better this year in the equipment he ran, I would put him probably in like number six or seven. But since Bubba kind of struggled this year. I put him at number 9, and he should have done better, regardless of the equipment you're running. The same. Anyhow, number 8 on my list, and this one's going to be a little surprising, but not too surprising, is Kurt Busch. I respected Kurt Busch over the last couple of years, and uh, he's done an excellent job in the uh, 41 car, and I thought he's always been one of the most consistent guys on the track for the last couple of years, and he's matured as a driver a lot. Had I made this list a couple years ago, I would have not even put him in the top 20 favorites. But I respect the Kurt a lot. And even especially after what happened with his girlfriend, i got to put him at number 8. In number 7 spot, we have Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest, especially this year in the Xfinity Series, has done an excellent job as a driver. And he won two races at Iowa in 2017 Xfinity and uh, at... Um, Bristol in 2018. That is correct. My apologies. Anyhow, and I don't think he'll do perfectly well in that team, but I expect him to do pretty decently well. He might even be competing for the Rookie of the Year. He might be closer than some of you think. He might be. My number six guy is, um, is Eric Jones. Now, Eric Jones is a fantastic driver. He got found by Kyle Busch back in 2012 when he beat Kyle Busch. I believe it was in the Snowball Derby, if I'm not mistaken. And Kyle saw talent, so he signed him to his truck team. And he ended up winning in 2013 in trucks. And any equipment you put him into, he's excellent in. Which is why I respect him as a person, and I respect him as a driver, and he's going to do a lot of great things in the Cup Series. Now my top five gets really interesting. Now some of you aren't going to disagree with my list for the top five, but these are my top five, and there's good reasons for this. My number five driver currently in the NASCAR Cup Series is currently Jimmy Johnson. Now, had you a couple years ago with Truex not been as good as he's been in the past, I probably wouldn't have put him in, as low as this. But Jimmy's number five. I have been a fan of Jimmy Johnson since I've been a fan of NASCAR. And he's in my top five all-time, guys. But currently in the current Cup Series, he's my number five guy. Um, and I just think with him struggling the last couple of years... I just feel like he's not been as good, and that's why he's lower. But I still respect Jimmy as a person, and I seriously hope that he can get good in 2019 so I can cheer for him like he did in 2016 when he won the championship because I've always been a, a respecter of the 48. My number four guy is Ryan Blaney. Now, Ryan Blaney is an excellent driver. He is a fantastic driver who knows how to drive a car, He's always been talented, and he drives the 12 car. Now, did he, did he underestimate this year? Yes. But he's great with the fans and respectful with the fans at the same time. He's always been respectful, and I appreciate Blaney as a driver, and I really hope that he can do a lot next year with Penske, like he kind of did this year, even though he should have done more, let's be honest. But yeah, good to know that Ryan Blaney is in my top four on my list. My third favorite driver, and this switched up um, this year because of how Chase Elliott did, but this is not Chase Elliott who is number three. No, sir. This is Martin Truex Jr. I became a big fan of Martin Truex Jr. back in 2015. 
I've known Truex has had talent, but I saw something in there in 2015. In the last couple years especially, sorry, I'm adjusting here. The last couple years especially, uh, he has been an excellent driver. He's gone to victory lane almost 20 times, and he's been competing for the championship the last four straight years. He will do fantastic at JGR, and he will not slow down at JGR when he goes there this year. He might win the championship this year. I'm putting him as a potential candidate. I seriously am. Now to my number two driver. My number two driver, and this became my number two driver this year, his name is Chase Elliott. I've always been supportive of Chase Elliott since he came through the trucks ranks and since he came through the Xfinity ranks. I've seen that guy I've known was going to be great. If you're the son of Bill Elliott, you're expected to do a lot of good things. And Chase Elliott has done an excellent job in the three years. He's become the best Hendrick Motorsports driver over the last three seasons. Even though Jimmy Johnson won the championship in 2016, Chase was the more consistent guy throughout the year. If you saw Chase Elliott, 2016 Chase Elliott, man. The 2018 Chase Elliott. Three wins this year, too, by the way, in 2018. That's why I put him as my number, number two guy. Now, for my honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, um, Brad Keselowski, and um, Ross Chastain. All four guys are equally as good as one another. If Ross is keeping in a great car, I would think he'd be a very credible driver. Now, my number one guy, and this will be the longest part in this video, and I will explain to everybody why this guy is my number one driver. This is Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson, I have been a fan of him even back in 2012. I am not a bandwagon fan. When I saw him at that Homestead race in 2012, all the way up the front, I became a huge fan. And I saw something in Kyle Larson. He has done an excellent job in 2000. He didn't do as great in 2018, but in 2017, he showed his talent and strength. And I thought the 20 team was going to do a lot of great things. He choked a lot. But he's young. He's learning. He just has got to start choking as much. Just has got to stop choking. And then he will become a fantastic driver. And I believe that Kyle Larson will win a couple championships throughout his time. And he will win over 40 races in his career. I'm projecting at least 45 wins. That's why. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow my social media links. They're, they're going to start coming on in the description as well. And um, support my channel. Uh, like, the, like, the, like my videos. And uh, share this video out to the public as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you can disagree with me all you want, I don't care. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.